Hi, I'm Lise Lotzels from Belgium, and I'm a harpsichordist and piano forte player, and also a researcher. Um, I'm working on The Seven Last Words by Joseph Haydn, which he considered as well one of his best works. Um, it was published in Vienna by Artaria in 1787, together with a, a string quartet version and a version for, um, harp, um, for harpsichord or pianoforte. Uh, and later uh, there was also published a um, choral edition. Um, many uh, different keyboard editions existed in that time and also later. Um, so after the first one by Artaria, there was the publication by Longman and Broderip in London. Um, and there was also a version uh, published in uh, Venice. And then later, uh, Karl Czerny made his version, uh, which was published in um, London in 1839. And there were several other um, versions by Köhler, Winkler and other uh, people. So um, for me, this is very interesting that this, this piece was so popular and widespread. And my question is, what's the difference between the different versions and what's their relation with the instruments they were written for and also their time and place? In the introduction, you hear the, the weeping, sighing gestures and the many diminished chords and the D minor um, key make it really like a very sad and uh, also devotional piece. In Hodio Mecum Eris in Paradiso, we hear Jesus' singing voice. And then there's this section evoking the paradise, which I find very fitting to play with the dampers raised. In the earthquake, Il Terremoto, um, the, the style of writing is really not very pianistic. Um, so it's a straightforward ad adaption of the orchestral parts. We are now going downstairs to the Clementi and Longman piano. When we now play the Czerny version on the Longman and Clementi piano from 1798, uh, we see that this thicker texture and the many octaves uh, has to do with a more pianistic um, idiom and also a version which is thought more orchestrally. In the Hodio Mecum Eris in Paradiso, we see that um, the rests of the melody are filled in and the texture is also much thicker. So in this case, it's, it would be completely impossible to play it with the dampers raised, for example. In this version, the earthquake is written in a more pianistic way, so it's easier to play. Um, but at the same time, we lose the awkwardness and the unpredictability of what's an earthquake. Uh, so the rhetorical aspect has changed completely.